channel i know it's been a minute but i'm back now if y'all read that title down below you should i already know what we are here for today today we're doing a mukbang and a q a some of y'all left me some questions on my last video to answer and we're gonna get into today we got panda walk like panda express but i guess it's like a off brand <laughs> yeah, it's I got this, general. Oh, general so chicken, and I got sesame chicken and rice. Well, I forgot to mention, it's vlogmas day four. We on day four now. What is one type of food you hated as a kid, but like as an adult? Broccoli. Ree, ree, yeah, ree. broccoli. I love me some broccoli. All that, yeah, I love it now, but I ain't like it yeah. as a kid. And like little condiments. I didn't really like mustard um, like that. I still don't like cheese on my sandwiches, but I do cheese on like stuff. Like mustard mm -hmm. and it's a lot of, it's a lot of stuff that I didn't like as a kid that I didn't like until I got pregnant. Like cornstarch. Girl, I used to keep cornstarch next to my bed. I used to wake up in the middle of the night and eat cornstarch. It would be saying that shit, but. Yeah, it was bad. Mm -hmm. And I, I wasn't craving it at first. My granny had ended up buying it because that crazy. <laughs> <laughs> my it mean your iron is low. So my iron is low though. Who was your first celebrity crush? <laughs> Chris Brown. Ah! Oh my god, mine too! <laughs> oh god! That's everybody. <laughs> oh god. That was my first celebrity crush too, uh, Chris Brown, mm. for sure. He was, that was the first CD that I got. My friend Hadia got it for me for Christmas or for my birthday. And my mama had got me a little radio set. Mm. Baby, I played that thing for to sure. skip. This boy that I used to go to school with. <laughs> he looked just like Chris Brown. Oh my God. <laughs> I used to be obsessed with him. Um, question three. What is the weirdest ice cream flavor you've ever tasted? I'd say like a sherbet type of flavor. Sherbet? Yeah, I don't really. It's that damn mint chocolate chip shit. Oh, girl. Yeah. I can't stand no damn I mint chocolate chip. That. Nothing. That's disgusting. Mm -mm. <laughs> or, believe it or not, oh, that was a food that I didn't eat as a kid. Klondike. Klondike oh, bars. <laughs> I eat them now because I can tolerate the dark chocolate, but I didn't like oh. it. Yeah. What are the worst tech qualities you hate in a human being? Damn. The worst tech qualities you hate in a human being. Mm. Yeah, I'm like that. A liar, <laughs> a cheater. Well, you that's in a know. human being. But still, yeah. if you're a cheat, you're a kill. If you're a kill, you're alive. You're alive. You're still. You're still. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I don't know. <laughs> I can't think of A liar. A liar. A cheater. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody you, you can't yeah. tell them when they wrong, but they're supposed to be your friend. Um. Passive to aggressive. Talk too much. Tell all your business. Bullies. Bullies. <laughs> yeah. Bullies. Or one of the bullies. People that like to belittle people. Narcissists. So I think we at like nine. Give me one more, one more good one. Oh, let's see. You don't like no narcissist, honey. And a manipulator. You manipulate everything to go your way. It's not good. Do you have a box of secret objects in your room? I might not have a box, but I definitely got some secret objects in there, guy. <laughs> it didn't, I mean, it come in a box. You know what I'm saying? I got a secret box, but I definitely got some secret stuff in there that I wouldn't want nobody to get into. You do that information as you will. Love comes after marriage or before? Before. Of course. I would hope that you would be in love 
before marriage unless you're in an arranged type yeah, of situation. <laughs> what is one movie with an ending that literally blew your mind? I don't know. <clears throat> Last movie, but Same. I just tell you a show <laughs> that happened to have not but I that was crazy. Like literally, everybody died at the end, <laughs> except for Hannah. And Hannah was like the nicest, sweetest person, like ever. Girl, what? Like she'll do anything for you. But um. Yeah. She's the only one that survived. Everybody else ended up dying. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Well, a movie? It would have to be. It's this movie called Rock the Mob. And it's about this couple. They grow and they start basically picking up all these mob families, Italian mob families. And at the end of the movie, yeah, 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 yeah. Type shit. and at the end of the movie, yeah. they basically yeah. end up getting killed well, like, on December Day. That. that shit blew my mind. Mm -hmm. And as far as like a TV series, huh? I would say <laughs> House of Pain. Um, if y'all remember the original House of Pain when it first went off, when Calvin got shot and he was in that apartment. And you know, I didn't know what was going on. He went answering his phone. That shit blew my mind, but I was a kid. I really don't watch much TV. Wait. No, I, don't, I don't think I know that. I remember, like, on the movie where he, um. You talking about Meet the Brown? Yeah, I think When so. he got shot. That mm -hmm. movie? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, on House of Pain. I, I, don't, I didn't really watch it. We that. ended up going back to the house to get some for the baby christening. And when he got there, it was somebody in the house waiting on him, and they shot him. And Miranda had been calling his phone all day. They shot him in the leg or something? Yeah. Uh, I think it was like in the chest or the stomach or something like that. She had been calling him all day, all day, and he went answering. her. He went picking up the phone, and she was, she went over to Auntie Ellen, Uncle Curtis house. She was cussing him out. <laughs> she was like, oh, I'm done with this. Da, da, da. He always laid, not knowing that this man had been shot. Yeah. And he, he need help. But yeah. CJ ended up finding him and getting him help. So, do you believe in a strong friendship relationship between a boy and a girl? It's the fact that you're silent. <laughs> you ain't been silent on no other question. In my opinion, strong relationship? No. But can y'all have a friendship? Yes. As long as it's under. <laughs> I'm lying. Hell no. <laughs> Hell no. Bitch, you can't be friends with no hoe. No. I'm your friend. Right. Well, would you be cool with me? Right. Yeah, like maybe if we all was cool, yeah. but still no, because I still feel like y'all yeah. probably got some going on. Cause some girls are weird. Like, now if we let's say on you and shit. let's say we was at right, we out, we having us a good time. Me and my dude, and we at the club, and I meet this other girl, and she with her dude. Mm -hmm. That's how you do shit. Mm -hmm. That's how you do it. This my friend. I met him at the gas station. I met her at the gas station. Mm -hmm. That is my bestie. Bitch, you're out your mind. Mm -hmm. Call it immature. Call it what you want. <laughs> Not this one, Pim. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. But there's some people that grow up with some, some girls, so. Yeah, that's different. Yeah. That's different. But even still and be on that level. That. Yeah, but even still on that level, when they realize that you're in a serious relationship, they back the off. Or... They the know. Yeah. What they saying, yeah. right? For sure. Don't be calling my man phone at no two o'clock in the morning <laughs> talking about what you doing, friend. Bitch, you finna get yeah. your ass <laughs> What you finna yeah. do? What is one embarrassing situation you would never forget? <laughs> I'll tell one. I already told y'all this story. That time when I was in elementary school, and they accused me of stealing hand sanitizer. They accused me of stealing hand sanitizer that my mother bought and made me stand in the office with the I stole hand sanitizer sign to the end of the school day. Papa? Yeah. Type of story you yeah. Papa? My mama bought the shit. I stopped by my classroom Wee. and put some in my hand before I sat down in the hallway in the morning because our teacher used to have to come pick us up from the hallways in the morning it's time for us to classroom. But I stopped by my class and I got some hand sanitizer before I sat down and waited on my teacher. And the hall monitor saw me 
and she went and told the principal. The principal came and snatched me and my friend up, took us to the office and made us stand with a sign in the office that said, I stole hand sanitizer. Yeah. They don't get no more embarrassing than that. Having teachers and people walk in there. What school did you go to? Walter White Elementary School. We need the. They closed down now. <sighs> But yeah, that was embarrassing. I never forget that. I don't think I ever been embarrassed no more after that. When was the last time you cried and why? <laughs> oh shit! Probably last week. Why? 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 Like, it was, you know, not like a bad crap, but like, should be hitting you. You know? I'm really loving my week. When was the last time I cried? Um, when was the last time I cried? Y'all. Um, I'm not standing no business out here. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm not even gonna I'm not standing no business out here. Okay. I love my ma'am. What is your highest level of anger? I guess they wanna know when you when you mad, mad bitch. What they look like. Let me ready for you. Because I don't know how to like express my feelings. So like and I be tired of doing that back and forth. Like when I do finally, cause I shut down, then I finally express like how I'm feeling. Mm -hmm. But like motherfuckers, be... <laughs> well, okay, I think I'm thinking of it in like a relationship type. Yeah. Of... So mm -hmm. give us relationships and then give us general. Okay, yeah. But like um, so when fine. people be like um, trying to. Go back and forth and like trying to tell me how they feel, but mm -hmm. like you gotta also know how I feel too. So we both gotta understand each other. But it's like they only want me to see they, they side. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, after that, I just be trying to talk here. And it's like just get the fuck out of my face. If I slap you, and go. Yeah, if you don't want to get out of my face, I'm tired of talking. Uh -huh. So, relationship-wise, I think in, in all aspects-wise, I'm a crier. Like, you'll know if something bothering me, if something is wearing, wearing on me, anything in general. Because I'm going to cry. Whether it's a long time or whether it's for a short I'm time. I'm going to cry, too. Bitch, I'm going to drop a tear. I'm a Capricorn. I'm going to drop a tear. <laughs> And I'm gonna talk shit. I'm a Sagittarius. This is a Capricorn. But so. like, I have my stuff. Like, like she's emotions. she's she's trying to she's trying to keep so it low key like, now because she's not used to the whole YouTube thing. But y'all know how I talk to y'all over here, bitch. <laughs> this is a Capricorn here. She's worse than me. Y'all know I'm a Sag. So y'all yeah. do with that information as you, <laughs> as you may. Mm -hmm. I'm a crier. Like you will know I'm mad because I'm gonna get I'm gonna cry and I'm gonna get vocal and I'm gonna tell you what the issue is. Like it don't get no now I done been in a situation where I have put my hands on somebody, like I done got so fucking heated to where I done been like, bitch. Yeah. But I think it's just like the other person I gotta put it. you. Yeah. Gotta be yeah, I, I won't I, I I definitely don't do that now, but like yeah, but I, <laughs> that I, other person I like provoking you and like especially, and you're telling them to walk away, like yeah. Especially it, it, since it, it, like all this domestic violence stuff that start, you know, oh, yeah. becoming like a main a topic. Thing. I definitely done stop right. that because bitch, you sitting up here hitting on this man. Right. What if he turn around and knock the fuck out of you? Right. Then you gonna be looking stupid. Right. Thank the Lord that you didn't. But like people provoking yeah. you and then like. But in mm -hmm. general, like I said, I am a crier. Get down, KK. Okay. In general, like, as in, like, just, just regular, regular with people. I'm going to cry. I'm going to get, you going to know I'm bothered because I'm going to cry and I'm going to shut down and not shut down as in, like, oh, I don't want to talk. You going to notice my attitude because all around, I'm bubbly. I'm happy. Yeah. It's like I'm always upbeat. I'm always up tempo. So when something is on my mind, you're going to know because I'm moving a little bit slower, moving yeah. a little bit different. 
the everything tone, just yeah, the tone gonna be a little yeah. bit lower Me too, cause I definitely shut down. Like. No. How would you? Um, well, first, not. What would you go first? What would you go for your perfect vacation? What would you go? Let's start from there, cause they giving like very, very vague questions. What would you go? Um, right now, like I really want to go to go to Dubai. So, like that's I think that's my next. Well, I don't know. We said perfect, not where you going next. We said, but you just said where you want to go. I know, but like what? Okay, so I was gonna say where I want to go and like what I want to do with something. All right, so. What would your okay? Your, so, what would your perfect vacation look like? So, if you had to choose the perfect vacation destination, where would you go? That's I just answered that, right? What you say? You Dubai. Dubai. Yeah. That's, okay, that would be okay. perfect vacation. So, like, no, I'm saying like, as of right now, yeah, like it probably could be something else. You probably you know, gonna change. Just, yeah, it depending on. But like, okay, right now, so we on the same page. It's like Dubai because that's where I want to go right now because. And what I'm would like what would Jamaica. it look like? Like what would what would the what would the atmosphere look like? The aesthetic. <laughs> it is like I don't know. I feel like it would just be like very relaxing, like a relaxing type of vacation. What kind of outfits Going, would you be giving? You, well, you can't. I want to. Right, you can't like, show skin. So like, I want to do like day culture, like dress up, like how they dress. I want. I do want to go out and like ride the camel, do the look. Like, a, a vibe, but yeah, I want to do all that so like and it's just like a getaway just like a relaxing type of thing probably do like a spa while I'm there something just to cause you can't do too much you can't be cursing you can't be screaming you can't yeah. it's not like a turn up type of place yeah. like a like a hotel type of place it's very relaxing contained. yeah it's very contained yeah. and bitch you'll go yeah. to jail you'll go to prison yeah. we don't need that yeah. I don't want my friend to go to prison yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know what I my dream my perfect vacation First, the destination would probably be Italy. It would be Italy or oh Nigeria, way. considering oh the way. fact that I just did my 23, um, not my 23, my DNA ancestry, mm -hmm. and I'm 24% Nigeria. So it would probably be Nigeria because Italians don't really like African Americans like that. At least they did back in the day. Mm -hmm. And bitch, you know, I'm halfway prejudiced. So bitch, if y'all don't fuck with us. And then, then not even that, either. like, isn't, um, can we miss, wait, I'm trying to see. But I want to go to Italy because y'all know, like, that's one of my favorite foods. Like, I love oh, pasta. Oh, no, that's Paris. I was about to say, you know, have you been seeing those TikTok videos of Paris? Or my culture. Oh, and you had bed bugs. Like, they was infested with bed bugs. Yeah. But, so, the perfect vacation would look like, I would, I would go, I would take off work, honey. I would take a week off of work. Give me some nice fashions that I could wear. Get down there. Probably go to some history museums. Um, if I could do more research on my DNA ancestry, I would try to research. And then, like, get to know, like, the yeah, area. Yeah, because yeah, my yeah, auntie yeah. went, um, somewhere, I can't remember. But, yeah, she was, like, she went down this, like, cave thing. And it was just showing her, I don't know, it was, like, this tour. Mm -hmm. And it was showing her a lot. That would be my vacation or St. Thomas. If I could just think very, very vague, I would give me some nice little bikinis showing barely anything. Yeah, yeah. Honey, y'all know how I like, do I like to show skin? I go on a good little Friday morning, come back on a maybe a Tuesday or Wednesday. Like, Ooh, girl, it would be nice. For my I have me a swim up hotel room. Kaylin, a swim up hotel room, honey. Every time I step out on my balcony, I see nothing but water. Water, water, water. That is the end of this video, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you liked it, if you want to see more mukbangs, please comment down below and let me know. Um, please be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe, and I will see each and every one of y'all in the next one. Peace out.